A well-known Portland nonprofit is looking for support after realizing they don't have enough money for a planned rebuild. Sydney Dorner has a look at how they hope to continue their work. Sisters of the Road offered meals to the homeless for $1.50 or 15 minutes of work at their cafe. After having to close during the pandemic, they were excited to announce in 2023 they had found a new home. But funding for that new location hasn't panned out. There is nothing like a hot meal to help ease the pain of living on the streets. Definitely makes a difference. Here in Portland, Sisters of the Road was known for providing homeless people with a sense of normalcy, inviting them into their restaurant style nonprofit on Northwest Davis. You know, whenever they happened to be serving a meal and I was in the neighborhood and hungry, I would try to eat there. Where you had a choice of a buck fifty meal or 15 minutes of work at their cafe. I remember they always had well-made food. This work came to a close during the pandemic when they had no choice but to shut down their cafe. Ecstatic to share with Portland in 2023, they had found a space for their comeback with renewed goals. Even if they don't need to get a meal, they can just come and have a place to be warm inside. Maybe they can uh, you know, collect mail there or just have a, a conversation and be treated with dignity and respect. They were planning to renovate a former restaurant in Chinatown called the House of Louis. The project would take $6 million and at the time their board of directors felt this was feasible. Fast forward to now, it turns out that goal was set a little too high. We weren't in the position we hoped to be in in terms of, of doing that fundraising. Um, and so, you know, we, we had to make the decision to, to pivot from the House of Louis. But they aren't giving up. The work that our staff does is incredibly hard. They're, they're up close front and center with a lot of trauma that people are experiencing. Saying they are moving on from the House of Louis location and working to find a different way to open back up receiving a $500,000 grant from the Department of Housing and Urban Development. But we have we have options. We're an organization that has options, and uh, I think we're pretty fortunate about that. Sydney Dorner, KGW News.